Hey everyone, it's Rachel from PC Gamer here, back with another Play This video. This time, we're looking at a game that I've been obsessed with for the past month, and that's Cozy Grove. If you're looking for an Animal Crossing game on PC, this is the game for you. It has everything you could want from a life sim, and coupled with its gentle story, it's a game that could even rival Nintendo's Gentle Giant. Tropical islands are out, haunted islands are in. In Cozy Grove, you play as a spirit scout who has been sent to a haunted island to help its residential spirits, who also have to be very cute anthropomorphic bears. The ghost bears can't pass on until they've come to terms with their past lives, so you'll need to restore the island and help them find their way into the afterlife. It's a life sim collectathon through and through. Each island resident will give you tasks to complete, and through scavenging and crafting, you can fulfill their needs. Cozy Grove mixes things up a bit though, like making the hunt for resources more like a hidden object game. Finding items isn't just a case of wandering around until you stumble upon them, but actively seeking them out. The ghost bear carpenter, who has the fantastic name of Jeremy Gruffle, asks you to find some branches for a workbench, while the postal bear, Patrice Furbank, will task you with finding a lost package. It's all breezy stuff. As you help the spirits out, the island becomes bigger, revealing more ghosts in need. It's task ticking at its finest, and I've loved what I've played of Cozy Grove so far. The only gripe I have is that it uses Animal Crossing's real-time clock system, where there's only so much story-related stuff you can do each day, which is torture for a life sim player like me who has no self-control. Even so, I can see the choice behind the real-time clock decision. Cozy Grove doesn't demand anything from the player, and its laid-back vibe encourages players to hop in for an hour or two and then leave when they're done. In the two hours I played, there was plenty to do, and before I called it a day, the island had a shop, a postal building, and I had decked out my campsite in some lovely rustic furniture. I'm very much looking forward to completing the daily tasks of Cozy Grove each day, but I'm also looking forward to getting to know the island's residents. Each one has a backstory that unravels over time, and as you restore the island, you also restore their memories, getting to know more about their past life and how they died. Cozy Grove is out now on Steam and the Epic Games Store, and I've already spent many hours getting to know this haunted island and its adorable ghost bears. <laughs> 